Hello and welcome to another Organs of Super with me, David Cooper. Okay, so today I have the Lowry Prestige. This is one of the top models in the Lowry range. It's got lots of extras that make it very special. Things like we've got lights that can go on the music rest to make your music show up clearly. We've got lights to show where all the notes are and they can be brightened or dimmed. We can have pedal lights to make us see where the foot pedals are. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to use. We've also got things like a little keyboard here. We can add some arpeggios into our playing. We've also got a music rest here that pulls out. So if that one's too far away for you to read clearly your music, this can come and go on here. And we can even put a light on here to make that um, clearer for the music you're reading. So there's lots of things to make it very special. It's the top of the range. It would have been 40 or so thousand pounds new. So really top of the range instrument. Now we've got sound effects we can bring in to, to make us sound good. A round of applause. So we've got some really fun stuff in here, but we've also got the, the core stuff that you're going to want in an organ. We've got the presets. We've got loads and loads of presets. All these 10 buttons here set up the whole instrument and they can be used with um, any of these categories, theatre, country, big band, show, theatre, sorry, Latin, more. And then we've got another 24 pages, uh, 24 categories that give us 10 each. That's another 240. We've then got on top of that, each rhythm has got loads of setups. So there are literally thousands of setups within the instrument to make it easy to use. And that's what it's all about, is being able to play without spending too much time having to work out where all the sounds are and which to mix and getting our balances right. So, well, you know, I'm just gonna give you a few ideas of what it does. It's only a whistle-stop tour. So one of the features I like is called Song Setup. And this gives us literally song name. So here we've got uh, Charleston, Charmaine, Chattanooga Chutu. If we go to Charmaine, look, sets it all up and I can start playing. It'll give me an introduction, so I'll play in the key of C. We're into the song now. to Chattanooga Choo Choo, let's play the first chord, I'll play a C again, get the train sounds. Really powerful sound. style list and this again is for a really good way of setting up the organ from a style of music so instead of going to a, a rhythm we're actually going to go to the style and the type of sound so if we go into uh, let's see what we've got on here um, easy country okay so I've got a country rhythm it automatically chooses a rhythm and the right sort of backing for just a simple easy country rhythm let's try a, a backing now I've also got I can add to this I've got these categories of sound so if I go to the country setup I can choose a sound that will work 
and um, we'll get a, a country themed backing but also a, a country sound from whatever ten that it gives me. Let's play my backing chord. And I'll play a, an F. <laughs> I've got a filly down here. I press this bar. Sound. We've got this huge amount of buttons here. They're quite, um, quite scary looking when you first look at it, but they're all colour coded. So we've got the red section and the blue section, and all our styles are in blue. Now the red section is our sounds that we can play more than one note with. So if we were choosing a sound, let's just go to upper on. Look, we'll turn this one on and we'll turn these off for a sec. We've now got all our voices, so I can go to my piano. Let's just turn my country off a minute. Turn off the other sound. Ah, I've that up. Let's do that bit again. So we'll from that bit we'll start again. Don't know why that sounds like that. What's on? That's it. So we can go through till we've got the red section and the blue section. These are our upper voices. And this upper red section gives us uh, our solo instruments, but we can play them with more than one note, whereas the, the blues are what are called mono voices. If I go into the blues and we play a trumpet, uh, turn it on. Really, really good quality sounds. But if we try and play two notes, only the top one will sound. So just like a real trumpet, you can't play two notes on a real trumpet, it's the same principle. If you go to the clarinet, really, really high quality. Jazz flute. Uh, we've got scat, which is great. too many buttons to choose from on the panel but at the end we've got two called genius now these genius ones almost said genius then uh, if we go to genius genius uh, this will give us a whole list of sounds that we can select for these two genius buttons we've got two in the red section and two in the blue section so if I wanted to go through we've got French horn let's go through we've got a fiddle we've got um, Jazz, different sorts of flutes, and then we've got different sorts of guitars. So we can go through and choose from these sounds. We can also choose from the genius section in the um, orchestral section here. So we've got uh, the blue is the mono, and the orchestral is the ones that we can play more than one note with. So let's go to, um, turn off the blue section for a minute and go to the reds. We've got uh, piano. Really good piano. We've also got on here um, things like jazz guitar. Hawaiian 
But again, we can go to this genius button and we can select an extra couple of sounds that are always going to be available when we're playing. So it depends if you want to choose your own sounds or you want to go from the presets that are in the instrument already. Uh, let's go through back to this main screen again. We've got song setup and then we've got style list and then we've got the genius which is all the sounds so we can see what we've got selected in our genius uh, sections and these are the two extra voices in each voice section that we can have waiting to use even though there's not a button on the panel. So we've got below there we've got our upper flute section we've got a 16 foot flute, 8 foot, 4 foot, 2 foot, so nice big sound section we've got strings up here we've got vocal so lots of sections that we can mix together and then put them with our orchestral and our solo together but I tend to use it with the the presets coming through uh, and there are ten that they give you in these ten buttons here that you're always able to go back to they're kind of a traditional Lowry set of ten so the first one is a very sweet organ sound so we've got a theatre sound, no church organ sound. To summarise, we've got uh, a set of tabs that we can use with strings, just like you get on a traditional organ. We've got all the solo instruments that the modern organ's have given us, uh, which are polyphonic and monophonic. And then on top of that, we've got a great rhythm section. Now, each rhythm I didn't show you, if we go to any rhythm, we can go into variations, and there's going to be eight variations for every rhythm button. So if I go to Big Band as an example, we've got eight to choose from. If we go into Waltz, got uh, eight waltzes to choose from. So there's loads and loads of variations in the rhythm section and, and all the backings can be either one finger chords, three finger chords or playing it like a proper piano. And um, we've got a USB port in here. We've got a CD player which will um, record your tracks and you can burn a CD from it. Um, and also we've got a full big cover that comes down and makes it very neat. This is the Lowry Prestige. Thank you.